Hey everyone, it's Harvey again here from EcoCrowd and today I'm going to show you how to build a worm farm from uh, some recycled materials. Now I've got a uh, fiberglass bathtub off Gumtree for 15 bucks and that's uh, going to be the worm farm and then I'm going to use some pallets uh, that I got also from Gumtree for free um, and that's going to be the frame because I want to lift it up off the ground so we can put a bucket underneath to capture the, ex uh, the water that comes out of the um, worm farm. So yeah, first what we're going to do is just uh, take apart this pallet because these are going to be the legs up here and yeah, so we'll take apart that and then um, we'll build the frame from there. Alright, so what we want to do is uh, get all these pieces off and they should be relatively pretty easy. Alright, so now I've taken the pallet apart, I've got these uh, three pieces that I'm going to use for the framework. Um, so what, what we're going to do is uh, put it down on the bathtub and I'm just going to cut them to length just there um, with a circular saw. We'll just do that around and then we'll be able to do the legs after that. So now I've cut the timber to size. I've used some quick grips just to uh, hold the timber in place. And what I'm gonna do is uh, drill through the fiberglass and put, put some screws through this. Probably about, um, I don't know, maybe like six or seven down here. And uh, so I've got a fairly big screw. Um, depending on what type of uh, timber size you've got will depend on how uh, big the screw has to be. So what we'll do, we'll just uh, screw down here. So now we've screwed the timber to the bathtub, uh, now we want to make some legs and I'll probably do about six um, just to keep it nice and sturdy. Uh, so what we'll do, um, we want to raise it to about 750 high so we can get a bucket underneath um, the bathtub here and so the, these pieces are perfect because they're 1500 so um, all, all I have to do is cut it in half at 750 and that will be high enough um, for that so I'll have to make some more legs out of the other pallet here but uh, yeah so we'll, we'll do that we'll cut them up and uh, yeah put the legs on all right Right, so I've made six legs, um, so what I'll do, I'll turn this upside down and then quick grip these to the uh, timber here and yeah, screw them together. So now we can just use the right angle just to uh, square them up before we screw it in. Alright, and then we'll turn it around and do the other side.
So now we can put the middle legs in, uh, so just halfway, and then um, 50 on each side because these are 100 mil timber. So you can see here, I've put a piece in the middle um, that sits uh, onto the fiberglass here and I've screwed it in here so I'll make the same ones going across here um, at the same height. Alright, so we've finished the worm farm. Now you want to put it into a position where there's no direct sunlight, so either undercover or in a shady spot like uh, this spot just here. Um, just because there's limited space, uh, this is going to be the best spot for it. So, um, yeah, so now that that's all sweet, off the, because it's in the garden bed just here, I've just put um, some bricks down, leveled it off uh, just in there so um, the soil's not touching the legs just because it's uh, pine. Um, yeah, so now what we want to do is set up the worm farm. So right. for our worm farm, we're going to want a lid on here. Um, now this is outside, so we want something that's uh, what water's not going to get through. So I've got um, just some perspex here, which will be my back sheet. That's just going to go right back. And then I've just got some marine ply. Um, and then I've drilled some holes through the marine ply just so, uh, for a bit of ventilation through here. And the reason why I've just got two here, just because we're in this kind of nook here that I can just slide this part, uh, past there and um, just feed the worms from here. Alright, so what I've got here is a peat block. Um, this is just going to be a good bedding for the worms. So you just want to uh, put it in the water and it's just going to expand. So over the bathtub drain hole, I've just siliconed down some shade cloth. That's just going to help uh, the worms not uh, go through the hole. Alright, so now our peat block has absorbed all that water so it's um, all good to put in the worm farm now this is just going to be some good bedding for the worms so we can just chuck that in at the back here there we go move around there Alright, so now we've got our bedding down, uh, we can put our worms in. So you can either get the worms from a garden store or if you, uh, if one of your friends has got a worm farm you can just see if uh, they can give you some from theirs. So this is from mine and uh, yeah we've just got heaps of worms in here so this will be a good, good starter here. See all the worms. I'm just going to chuck that on, on here. Spread that out a bit. Alright, so other people uh, do put aggregate down here and then put a uh, weed mat over that um, for drainage and you can do that if you want to. I, I don't do it because uh, the water drains this way anyway and I always keep um, all the soil back this way so um, when, when I start when it starts building up and I've got a fair bit of salt there and I want to start using some in my garden I just have it tapered down here always leaving this area here free um, from the soil and then I can just scoop it from here and chuck it around the garden alright so you can see here this is uh, where the water comes out at the drain and um, you can see it's already starting to work um, so you just keep a bucket there and one, once it's relatively full that, that becomes then your worm tea that you can put in your garden Alright, so I hope that helps you get your worm farm going. Um, yeah, for more information, go to ecocrowd.com.au forward slash worm farm. Alright, cheers. Have a good one.